Monitoring your smart home integration is important for ensuring your users have a quality experience with your smart device. We've got several resources available to make this process easy for you. Let's take a look. Okay, so we'll start with step number one. Uh, that is monitoring your error logs. And for this, we'll go to Google Cloud Platform, choose our project, then clicking the menu icon to bring up the side menu. Then we'll scroll down to operations. And from there, uh, monitoring dashboards is where you can find the metrics. And logging logs explorer is where you can find your logs. OK, we are starting with the metrics. So we'll select the dashboards. This will take you to your dashboards page. And by default, you'll see that there are extra dashboards that Google Cloud makes available to your project. We are publishing all our data in dashboards named Smart Home Analytics, so that we'll be the one to access your project metrics. You'll see that we do have different charts for each of our metrics. Starting with the upper left corner, Smart Home Requests, shows the number of requests we issued to your project. It shows two in this case for the requests that we just issued. And we have the success percentage chart in the upper right corner, which shows as 50%. This is because one of our requests have succeeded and the other one has failed. And we, ha we do have the breakdowns for execution and query, which shows the counts for successful requests. Our query chart is empty because we haven't issued any queries. That would be something like, OK, gee, is my washer turned on? But we only have issued executions, which is something like, OK, gee, pause my washer. Then if we scroll down, you'll see some other charts as well. You'll see that we have one for latency. We use the 95th percentile as a golden metric for latency within Google, uh, this one shows around 900 milliseconds. Then the active users chart is another one we have. Uh, that chart will have three data sets, one for daily, one for weekly, and one for monthly active users. The data in our charts show up pretty much instantaneously. Um, should not be more than a few minutes, max. Uh, the data in active users chart, however, uh, is an exception for this. We are publishing aggregate data there once a day at midnight. So you'll see the usage corresponding to today when you check this chart tomorrow. That's why you are seeing it empty. Then the last metric that I want to show you is the error breakdown. This will be crucial to debug errors as it gives a breakdown of our error codes. The error we have there uh, shows partner response missing device. From the charts we have seen in our dashboard, I think there are three key ones that can provide great insights for monitoring quality and debugging. Success percentage shows the overall success percentage of all smart home fulfillments. Request latency shows the 95th percentile of perceived latency on Google servers. Different devices does have different requirements for these, by the way. So I recommend checking the specific guidelines from our documentation. For a washer, as we are covering this talk, the success percentage should be about 97%, and the latency should be below 3,000 milliseconds. And also, we have the error breakdown chart, which is crucial for monitoring your errors. Check out the resources link below. If you have any questions or if you want to see what everyone is building, join us on Reddit or follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching.